Today, you will be with me in paradise. This is the title, by the way, it's not for you. As you know, my beloved, today the Holy Church preserves the all, preserves all faithful departed Sunday, which or gives you know this is remind us you know that all our departed faithful, faithful departed, they heard, they heard the Lord Jesus saying that day. They, they are in of departure. They heard the Lord Jesus saying, Today you will be with me in paradise. And by the way, has anyone heard the Lord Jesus' voice? No, of course. That's why I'm asking because Thank God, one of our children, the previous Wednesday, which was, which was, you know, we celebrated the Nanavite Repentance Feast, almost 10 days ago or, or more. So as you know, that belongs, you know, or focusing on repentance, you know, of Ninevites or ours. So, the merciful Lord came in a dream to one of our daughters even though I was after that lady maybe for two years or more and of that day the Lord showed her a dream that she's coming to me like today the church is full and Everybody's coming, you know, to take the blessing from me. And she was also in mind. And she had in mind that I need to talk to Abuna. I guess she decided, you know, to do something about her life. But when she got closer and saw so many or large crowd, you know, she said, she changed her mind. She said, no way I can talk to Abuna. So when she came, she kissed my hand and left. She went, you know, to the outside door, all of a sudden seeing me in front of her. And I asked her, and I told her, actually, where are you going? Because don't go nowhere. The Lord wants to talk to you. She said, me? I said, yes, you. But all of a sudden, she realized there is a jewelry box in my hand. So actually, when I was thinking about this and what's happening, that the treasure box is the church sacraments treasure box. So she said, I put my hand on the box immediately. I heard a noise. I looked up my head to heaven. I saw heavens. Heavens opening one after another after another until I got you know, to the very bright light. And then I heard the Lord Jesus' voice. How beautiful is it? And she says that there is no way I can explain how sweet and beautiful his voice is. Going back to the sermon, my beloved, yes, my our departed one, the faithful departed one, her, today you will be with me in paradise. And that was, as you know, a promise to the crucified person next to the Lord Jesus and included every person, every person who kept the mother 
faith, the, the mother church faith, definitely the person will hear that sentence. I know this wonderful verse is still considered by many, but not by all, unfortunately, not by all, by those who have the fear of God is considered by the people who have the fear of God, which means fear not to make it to heaven, not fear of God, not to make it to heaven because they love God. And those people, the scripture, consider them the wisest people on the face of earth. In God's eyes, of course, not in the world. Because in the world's eyes, we may look foolish. But in God's wise, people who have the fear of God, they are the wisest people on the face of earth. So all of our faithful departed faith definitely can compare their faith with the Pharisees, Sadducees, and corrupted clergy. Those who kept asking the Lord Jesus for a miracle. Show, show us a miracle. Teacher, show us a miracle. And which is, or I should say, while the Lord or God in flesh standing right in front of them and they can't see that which is what he's doing they are standing before them is the significant miracle ever there is no better than that to see god almighty in flesh is standing in front of you so that's why the lord jesus responded to them Many people or many prophets and righteous men wishes to see what you are seeing and did not see it. St. Matthew chapter 13 verse 13. <clears throat> Since we are talking about miracles and faith now. So let's get to the second point which is miracle or faith. Do you know how many people or how many times I have heard saying, Abuna, the time of miracles passed. People who say that, my beloved, in direct way, they are saying God doesn't exist anymore. God is always there and miracle will continue. And some other people also still saying, or they are still asking actually for a miracle to believe. Then if you ask for that, then where is faith? So for those kind of people, my beloved, I would like you to know the real miracle for Jesus, the real miracle for Jesus is the day you return to Him. Believe in Him and love Him the way He loved you. Love Him the way He loved you. So to love Him the way He loves you, my beloved, actually that what makes the children of God very unique, very different, very different. And let me give you an example. As the children of the kings, whatever you see them, you can tell they are the children of kings by many different ways. Am I right? Same thing, my beloved, same thing, the children of the king of kings, Jesus, should be different in many different ways. By the way they are talking, by the way you are thinking, dressing, loving, on and on. There is many different ways. 
But how about none of these ways I mentioned? Believe me, you will be surprised. There is another way. Another of a spiritual daughter, on the same day she got into again the same wonderful life with the Lord. Even though we were encouraging her, her for one entire, one whole year to get into the divine love relationship. Finally, thank God she got into it that same day. So what happened the same day, she was very happy, very happy. So what happened, that was her day off. Every Wednesday, she's off. But she decided to go back to work to sign a few papers only. And what happened while she was talking to the receptionist, one of the clients staring at her. And I guess the receptionist realized that, and she said, by the way, she is working here. She said, well, how come I never see you before? She said, I guess you are coming on Wednesday, and this is my day off. That's why we don't see each other. So they never met, they never see each other. And all of a sudden, the client asked her, asked a faithful lady, can I be one of your clients? Can I be one of your clients? And the lady, the faithful lady, she was actually surprised. She said, uh, "May I ask you why you are asking that? Do I know you? Have we met before? She said, no. Then how come you are asking to be one of my clients? She said, let me be honest with you, that I can see the Holy Spirit in you. What a different way. I can see the Holy Spirit in you. You are glowing. First time they met. First time seeing each other. First time talking to each other. The children of God should be different, my beloved. What a beautiful story. So at the end, my beloved, since you know we don't know the we don't know the day or the hour of our departure, so let us get into the real deal of the Lord Jesus. The real deal. I'm not talking about deal or not deal or no deal. The, the, the program, which is you know will make the everything possible just to win a million dollars. But here we are talking about a deal. You cannot, you know, put a price for that deal. The deal you get into that real divine love relationship with the Lord, that is the real deal. So let's get into that, my beloved, may the day of our departure. Hear the sweet, the beautiful voice of our Lord Jesus saying, today, you will be with me in paradise. God bless you.